Welcome to the AMG Driving Academy. It's a curriculum imported from Europe where we have one, two, and three-day courses where you'll get to experience virtually the whole line of AMG vehicles provided for you. World-class driving instructors at some of the greatest racetracks in North America. Hi, I'm Tommy Kendall, four-time Trans Am champ and host of Test Drive on Speed Channel. Welcome to the AMG Driving Academy. I hope you enjoy these short films that take you through a little bit of the curriculum that we teach at the Academy. Everything comes together here at the skid pad. We've got to start understanding where the weight is in the car, where my eyes need to be, what kind of inputs are required of me as a driver to sustain, maintain, and improve my capabilities. Uh, in a stationary or a constant speed situation, the four contact patches should be about equal, front to rear. They should all look the same from underneath as far as the pressure the car is putting down on them. Now, as you start to manipulate the pedals or the input devices, whether it be the steering wheel, whether it be the brake and the gas, we're going to change the attitude of the car, but we're also going to change the setup or the contact patch itself. We're going to try to induce understeer. We're going to try to induce oversteer. So under acceleration, we're going to get that weight to the rear, but our front tires now have no or little pressure, and they're going to have a tendency to push if I add a lot of steering or if I'm abrupt with my inputs. 99% of the vehicles created today have understeer dialed into their suspension. It's the easiest thing for everybody to correct. If I go to the brake pedal or if I just come off the gas pedal, the weight now transfers to the front. You got to feel that come over the top of you. Those front tires now have more weight on them and that allows us to turn a little better, initiate a corner a little better. But we got to be very careful. If we've got abrupt inputs, we can shake the back end loose and induce a little bit of oversteer. We teach a correction method called correct, pause, and recover, CPR. The first step, correction, is done very well by everybody. It's like second nature. You steer into the skid. You correct the slide. The second one starts to get in the gray area, pause. That's waiting for the weight to pause and waiting for the skid to stop and change direction. At that point is where we find ourselves in trouble. We don't recall or remember how to do the recovery. If we don't do that, you can find yourself in a secondary slide or a secondary hook slide. What happens is we steer into the skid, we catch the slide, we catch that weight transfer. The car pauses for that moment, and at that point, we don't do anything. The car then dictates to us what we're going to do next, and that's the release of energy from that spring and takes us into a secondary slide. The sooner you can recognize a mistake, the smoother you can be, and the less recognizable the mistake's going to be. As if you didn't know, all the content is filmed on a close course by professional drivers. Do not try this on public roads. Always wear your seatbelt and drive responsibly.